I was getting around 60 million views a month and my check each month would be a little over $275,000. It literally felt like I was a drug dealer at that time. Hey guys, I'm David Dobrik, and today I'm gonna tell you about the worst and best financial decisions I've made. A lot of things in the videos will cost a lot of money and it'll be for like five seconds of like the vlog. So one time I wanted like a pony um, to be in my bathroom for a quick joke and that was like a $400 spend. I feel like this is kind of an interesting thing that not many people talk about. Cause it's kind of a weird thing. It's weird to talk about money, I guess. But as a kid, I always like, my biggest fascination was like, how much do these YouTubers make? Or how much do actors make? Or how much does anybody in the entertainment world make? Um, so I feel like I owe it to myself as a younger kid to, to talk about this. But I, um, so there was this thing that happened. It was the ad apocalypse. And basically a bunch of advertisers pulled out of YouTube and YouTubers, some YouTubers, started to get paid a lot less because their content wasn't friendly, so advertisers wouldn't come on the channel anymore. Um, and I was one of those people. I was getting around 60 million views a month, and my check each month um, for that time would be a little over $275,000, which is nuts, nuts. It, 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 it literally felt like I was a drug dealer at that time. And then a year and a half ago, or like two years ago, it like kind of got cut and now I'm now I get 200 million views which is you know more than three times the amount of views I was getting before but now my paycheck is under two thousand dollars which is crazy it's crazy it's a huge difference right now on YouTube because my videos I use like copyrighted songs and I use um, my videos are a little bit more inappropriate than the rest um, so right now I'm actually making less money a month on YouTube than I was um, when I was waiting tables at a retirement home, which is pretty crazy. You know, I could change my videos and make them more like age appropriate and cut out the music, but then it's just gonna lose like the video quality and why the videos are mine, which sucks because it, it, it does hurt the videos. Like there's a lot less to do with a smaller budget, but I'm still like in like the best, I have the best job in the world, so I can't complain, but I just like, that's some background. I do a lot of different like science experiments um, that are kind of just like goofy experiments we do in my backyard. Uh, we bought dry ice, that was a little over $10,000. And then we bought, yeah, we were like, we buy like a lot of liquid nitrogen, a bunch of different chemicals to like have stuff explode in the backyard. Um, and that was, that was usually cost a lot. But I think the craziest money we've ever spent, like the most would have been for, um, for Heath's Lamborghini. Heath is like the biggest fan of supercars and I do this thing in my videos where I get my friends different cars. I think we've done like 14 or 15 cars in the last year, which is nuts. So um, I, I partnered up with EA, um, Need for Speed, and we got him a brand new Lamborghini. And it was sitting in my driveway when we pulled out. I'm shaking, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I always I always think everything happens for a reason and I feel like I feel like my paycheck getting cut on YouTube was almost like a like a wake up call to be like hey don't be comfortable here on YouTube like expand your things like with merchandise and whole other things like expand the business it was kind of like a blessing in disguise I guess Does it make you grow your Yeah it made me go okay like this YouTube isn't forever obviously so I got to go and try to do some other things so the way, like when I when I give away anything like a car or like a trip or any kind of money, I'm always, it's always partnered with a brand. So instead of taking the money from the brand, I give it to the person that whatever, that needs it. Um, that way, I mean, I don't have much money out of my own pocket to give just because, you know, YouTube doesn't pay very well. So it's, it's, it's the best like thing to do when you're collaborating with brands because everyone hates watching like branded videos. But now when they see that I have a brand in my video, they go, oh, something cool is gonna happen. Like someone, someone's about to get a gift or something cool. So I feel like that's like an interesting approach to it. I, I guess my slogan when it comes to money would be always give back. I know it sounds cheesy, but, but it goes without saying. Once you have money, you're, you're gonna wanna give back and it's the best, best feeling. I, I, I ran into like another YouTuber the other day and he just came up to me and he goes, how nuts is this? Like all of this, like how crazy is it that like this is our job? It's literally the best job in the world.